What's going on everybody? I recently just purchased an enclosed trailer and today we're going to be doing some built-in shelves for that enclosed trailer. I do a lot of craft shows and I need a good way to move my inventory to and from the show. Previously, I've been just putting it all in the back of my truck, but that's just not going to work anymore. I've got too much inventory and I just do not want to have to worry about rain. So I bought a 5x8 enclosed trailer, and today we're going to be doing the built-in shelves, like I said. So here's the inside of the trailer. I have an idea in my head how I want these shelves to be built, and it's going to be a little bit tricky to explain, so uh, you'll just have to watch me. But it's going to be basically two shelves with some different posts uh, to transfer the weight to the floor. I'm going to screw it from underneath, and uh, I'm going to try and curve this front corner to uh, match the profile of the trailer. I think that would look good. Um, but we're pretty much just designing it as we go. All right, so I got this old pizza box. We're gonna use this to make a template of the front profile of the trailer. This was the only thing I could find, but I think it's gonna be the perfect size. So uh, we're gonna lay this on the floor, start tracing some stuff out, and hopefully get a nice copy of that profile. All right, so I used my template to make these little pieces that are gonna go in the corners. And as you can see, that fits really nicely. I've got two of them. And so now I'm just going to cut the straight pieces of 2x3 to finish making these frames that the shelf slats are going to sit on. All right, so I got some frames built. Now what I'm gonna do is cover these with the one by fours, and I'm gonna get this end down here flush. I'm gonna let them stick out long down here. I'm gonna come through with the flush trim bit and flush trim that entire corner perfect. All right, so I got my shelves all sanded and ready to go. These things look fantastic. So now what we need to do is go into the trailer and start making some lines on the wall where these things are gonna get mounted.
All right, so I got a lot done here in the last couple of minutes. I got everything screwed up. These are some vertical supports which transfer the load down to the floor. I've got two shelves in total and then obviously the floor. I put a lip on this top shelf. I figured it would be handy to have a shelf up top with a lip. But you can see I've already started to get some bins and stuff in here. This is going to work out really well. And uh, it's super sturdy. When I shake this whole thing, the entire trailer shakes. Now, the only other thing that we're going to do is do some overhead lighting. So the trailer has this little light in the back here. Um, it's just not enough. So I'm going to be putting some overhead LED lights up top uh, and wiring them up. So let's get to that. So as you can see, I've got all my lights wired up. I got four of these things on Amazon for about 25 bucks. They were super easy to install and they're super bright. They're just going to give me a lot more light back here. All right, guys. So hop in the trailer here. I got a lot of everything done yesterday. Last night, I got a lot of the wiring done and it's not hooked up to my truck so you're not going to be able to see a lot of that but i got all of these lights installed uh, i made these little wood fixtures all these little led lights don't draw any power really so uh, there won't be any issues there but i got all those lights up on the ceiling and i also have all my bins in here on my shelves just kind of seeing how they fit i'm going to put a ratchet strap across the front to hold everything in place so that they don't slide out when I make a turn. But I think this is going to work really, really good for the craft shows and moving inventory and things like that. I've also got my deep cycle battery up here with my inverter. And uh, that just gives me a couple of receptacles so I can charge my phone or run some little lights or do whatever I got to do. And this is completely independent, obviously, from the truck battery. So uh, I can run this down and not worry about my truck. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. These shelves are going to come in super handy this fall. I'm going to get some bungee cords or some ratchet straps to put across the front to keep the bins from sliding off. But other than that, I think everything is pretty much finished. I think that new lighting is going to look fantastic. I think it's going to work awesome. And uh, I'm just super excited to use this instead of the truck um, this fall. It's just really tough moving inventory in and out of my truck bed every single week and this is just going to make it so much easier and uh yeah i'm just super super happy with how everything came out if you haven't already please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i really appreciate it and uh be on the lookout for more videos i'll be posting videos every single week from here on out so uh a lot of cool stuff to come